so another compliance area is the financial crime compliance and to prevent the financial crimes especially in the financial institutions the regulators require institutions to develop and implement appropriate anti financial crime compliance programs frameworks and policies and by the financial crimes we mean the fraud money laundering sanctions violations or sanctions evasions bribery and corruption etc anti financial crime compliance frameworks and policies cover the appropriate controls and practices that institutions adopt to prevent these financial crimes when we talk about the financial com crime compliance area the key compliance components include number 1 money laundering and fraud prevention number 2 is performance of appropriate customer due diligence measures before onboarding customers similarly performing know your customer practices before onboarding any customer or before opening the account of the customer and by know your customer we mean that the identification of customer the identification of beneficial ownership or beneficial owner of the customers in case of legal entities and the verification of the business and source of funds and so on so the customer due diligence and kyc is interrelated and these are performed at the time of account opening and also later uh, during the relationship with the customer the beneficial ownership or ubo identification is one of the key compliance areas in the financial crime compliance when any company or when any business opens the bank account or any financial institution account the compliance team must ensure that the beneficial owners are identified because what happens in some cases the beneficial owners are not clear and the company company's account is opened in the name of some another person and the owner is someone else so the regulator requires that the true beneficial ownership should be identified for every legal entity for which the account is to be opened similarly the sanctions compliance is to be uh, ensured by the institution and we know that there are different kinds of sanctions like the economic sanctions financial sanctions trading sanctions etc so any entity or country that is placed in the sanctions list by the united nations or office of foreign asset control or ofac those entities or countries uh, should be monitored by the institutions further the bribery and corruption is uh, the area uh, for which the institutions must develop appropriate policies and procedures to prevent the bribery and corruption cases in the institution politically exposed person screening before opening their accounts and during the investigation is also one of the key important compliance areas of the financial com financial crime compliance performance of adverse media searches or the negative media searches especially in the case of high risk customers is also one of the key compliance areas of the financial co crime compliance the preparation of suspicious activity report Uh, for any account of the customer in which any suspicious activity or behavior is observed and reporting of the suspicious activity report to the regulatory authority like financial intelligence unit is also one of the key compliance areas of the financial crime compliance